Hi guys, welcome back. So in the previous one, we finished uh, adding SEO and a fab icon to our uh, website. Now in this one, we are going to talk about this uh, plus server file, which is an optional file we can have. It's very interesting because uh, it you can do a lot of things with this uh, single file. If you want a custom response to go out, you can actually use this. And uh, in this case, uh, you can have all these methods, get, post, patch, put, delete methods. Uh, and you can send the response in uh, many formats. So that's very interesting. So here is an example where um, this will be uh, sending out a random number based on the URL. So let's see. We can also use this uh, these methods if you want to like... Uh, redirect users or show an error or you know uh, get a JSON response we can use these methods available from Swell kit and other than that yeah that's all there is here but let's see how we can use it in our case now in our website we had these um, posts coming from an API right uh, I wasn't quite happy with the images though so these images are not good um, I would like something uh, something from maybe pick some right so some good images from there and also we don't have a title we just have some description so what i'm trying to do here is create my own api endpoint i will fetch uh, things from there okay let's see how to do that now here in our routes i'll create a folder called api and in this api i'll create another folder i'll call it posts dot json so it's better to have the extension in the directory name as you know itself uh, now i will have this file server.js right so we are making a you know uh, using a get uh, type here or method here export const uh, get what's uh, let's make this asynchronous and uh, now we can return a new response of any kind we want so before that we will create this uh, array of posts um, i want a title here and uh, i also want description or i can actually get most of it from here uh posts right so i will take three of these and i can you know change them so id i might want id user id i don't know if i want it uh i can just uh remove those i think yeah so i want an image also so right after title i will have a image as well so image and i'll have comma here now i'll go to this pick some and i'll pick some images uh, so this is how you do it i mean this url itself is enough but i want uh, a width of 800 height of uh, 400 maybe or 500 okay so id id is one so i get the first image but what i want is not that uh, what i want is a uh, few selected images maybe this i want which is 10 i'll add 10 i want uh, maybe this 17 so i'll just uh, copy this here and change the id to 17 and finally um something something different than all those maybe um let's go to the next one okay some some random yeah this seems okay 49 49 okay so all these are there now i have to use this post i mean send this as a response so i'm gonna um stringify it into yeah here and also uh, i might want headers here um, which uh, says that this is of content what type of content it is so 
I might want something like content type uh, application JSON. Right. So that's the second part of it. This is the data or whatever is in the body. Now our API is pretty much ready. So I will have to hit this API from, I think I created here. So I can uh, get this URL. The you you should have the full URL. I think I don't know if it works without that. Slash API slash uh, posts dot JSON. So let me see if we get anything in our yeah yeah we are getting it. Isn't I think we are getting something at least. Uh, filter is not required because I can return data because I'm just doing only three, so it should be fine. Now, in our page, uh, the type that is coming in is different. So, title URL, I don't think we have that. Title, we have image and body, okay. Also, ID. So, I go here, ID, title, image and uh body okay. now uh, i can uh, change this to image all title is fine here i'll have uh, h2 with the title and uh, here i'll have body id is you know not used maybe you know when we add links to it we can use that all right, so I have this uh, not quite, uh, you know, uh, good looking at this point uh, since these are like, you know, having different kinds of lengths in their title. I can always uh, dot uh, substring or something, I think. Uh, zero comma 20. I don't know. So this, yeah, that should do it. And this also, uh, I don't want this of this length. 80 would do. Yeah, this should be this should be fine. Okay, so we have this custom, you know, uh, API of our own. Uh, let me just try one more thing before we finish this. Uh, let me see if without the full URL, whether it works or not. Oh, it doesn't. Okay. So I need to provide this full URL. Uh, we can, I think it's it should be okay if you get URL here, you can probably provide it. Uh, but anyway, so we have to provide the complete URL and we get it. So that is uh, how we can create a, you know, API, uh, which provides us JSON data. And you, we don't really have to use this, you know, new response and content type and everything. So uh, what I can do instead is uh, remove all this and use JSON, which is provided by uh, Swellkit. I can add post here. So it does everything for us, whatever, you know, I wrote manually. So it will do it for us. And this should work as usual, right? So that's, that's something useful. Now, this is about the, you know, uh, response of uh, JSON. So let's say we want some kind of, I don't know, uh, maybe a text response. So let's say we want something like robots.txt. So if you have, you know, robots.txt is a, is a really small file, um, which doesn't need its own, like, you know, server and everything. But I'm just showing that, you know, we can also send, um, if we want, we can send it as a um, response, right? So or I can just uh, get that thing from there to here and I can just remove this. I can have const uh, text equals um, hello or something. And here I'll have to like create a new response and I can, uh, I think it is used here. I'm not quite sure if they're using something here. String, okay. 
a new string and um text let's see if this works so this should be enough i don't want json now let's navigate to uh, robots.txt so let's see what we get you know uh, we should we should be seeing just the text oh yeah so we did uh, that's good instead of like you know proper html we are just having text there so let's say you want uh, your sitemap to be there right so, so let's say sitemap.xml is the directory you create and inside you'll have a similar you know server file i'll just uh, copy copy the file itself maybe and paste here right uh, but in this case what you do is uh, let's say your uh, uh, markup right something like maybe xml and closing brackets and you'll have you know your urls and everything here but uh, i will have something i don't know if it is valid i'll have web jira h1 and uh, i will pass that here markup and uh, i'll also have headers which says uh, what content type it is content type i think it's application xml okay so this should be it if i go to sitemap.xml and yeah i have the xml so it, it does say you know it's this is how uh, xml would appear here and it says that so you can have things there now this is how useful uh, you know server file if you want to send a custom response to your users all right um so i'm, I'm not going to do a uh, post methods here because you know you can also like post things uh, to a server file but it's it's not really recommended so i did cover the form right the the contact form so that's uh, we did cover how we can handle that form actions is is actually the best way to handle that so yes so this is about the server file so there, there is there is a lot more to you know um, go through probably uh, i covered some of the basics of it thanks guys i'll see you in the next one bye bye